At times we may not have volume working on our iPhone. And I'm going to go over a few things to kind of show you real quick what the issues could be so you can fix it. There are a bunch of different little things that it could be, so we'll go over all of them in detail to make sure everything is working correctly. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin from HelpfulTutorials.net. If you're new here and you haven't, do me a favor, smack that subscribe button. We have new tips and tricks all the time. And with that said, let's get started with this one. Here we're going to show you the iPhone X and how to fix volume issues. One of the first issues that happens often is people have the mute switch turned on. On the side of the phone, there's a little switch. If you look in, you'll either see a red or you won't see anything. If you see red, that means it's currently on mute. That's a switch to use really quick if you're ever going into a meeting and you just need your phone to be quiet. You flip that switch and everything except for alarms will be silented. So at any times you can flip that switch and it will say silent mode off. So I'm going to flip the switch. There we go, silent mode off. So now we are all set. So that is not an issue. Next, we're going to check our volume. So we'll press the up and down on the volume to see where it is. And right now, when I did that, you might have saw it said Apple TV. I could pull down from the top here and click on the volume. And it's going to say what it's connected to. Currently, it's connected to my computer, so I can record this. But it may also say something else. If it would say something like headphones, that means your headphones are connected. If that's the case, it depends on the phone you have. If you have an older model, you may need to just clean the port. So if it's a headphone jack, you would just clean that out. I have an article that goes through how to clean all the ports up from my website, helpfultutorials.net. I'll link that below in case that's your issue. If you have a newer version iPhone like we have here, the iPhone X, then you won't have that problem where it gets stuck in headphone jack mode. But here, it might be connected to something else and that could be the problem. So by looking here, you can see what it says and here it's saying it's connected to my computer and that's why the volume isn't on the phone itself right now because it's pushed over to the computer. So if I go back a notch, you can see here where it says it's connected to the desktop through screen monitoring. If you're ever watching YouTube on your TV and you're using the app and you're selecting your TV, that also will take the sound from your phone and put it onto the TV. So if you forget to disconnect that, you might have a problem and it may not play on your phone until you disconnect it. So you can disconnect it here, or one of the easier ways is just reboot the phone. That will go ahead and disconnect it, and then you'd have to reconnect in the future. Any other issues, also, I would say reboot the phone. It's really easy to do, and it's not too difficult. Depending on the model, you just hold the buttons down here for a few seconds till it says slide to power off, and then you slide it to power off. Again, if you have an older phone with a headphone jack, you could also take the headphones and put them in and put them back out and do that a few times. A lot of times that can trigger it to fix it. Now, if you're having problems with phone calls itself, that is a little different. If your speakerphone works and your regular phone calls, you can't hear sound, that's a completely different video. I'm gonna go ahead and post that up top so you can go ahead and check that video out and that will help you fix that issue. At this point, you should be all set. If for some reason it's still not working, the final steps you would do is reset the phone. To reset the phone, you would just go ahead and click on settings. Then you would go ahead and choose general. You would scroll down to the bottom, choose reset. And then here you could go ahead and choose reset all settings, the top button. If that doesn't work, you could then go further and try erase all content and settings, but keep in mind that will erase all your stuff on your phone. So I always say restart all settings is the best one to start with before going through the more evasive one. Also make sure all your stuff is backed up before doing this, just to be careful. It's always good to back things up to your iCloud. With everything we went through here, your phone should now have volume if there is not a hardware issue and you should be all set. If there is a, still an issue, it may need to be taken to Apple and you probably have a failed component inside or if you got your phone wet, that could definitely damage it. But most likely we got that fixed for you and I'm glad we did. 
I want to thank you so much for the view and here are some other videos I know you'll enjoy. I'll see you over there.